Okay, hello. What's going on here? You, you, you. There we go. Ha! Ah. Hello, welcome. Good evening. <laughs> Fair enough, Pokemon Free. Fair enough. Uh, tonight we are back to Pathway. And as a reminder at the top of the stream, I will not be... Uh, I will not be uh, streaming on Friday or Saturday. I will be in Boston, uh, doing pack stuff and exploring Boston, you know, hanging out with friends and, you know, generally uh, li existing elsewhere. So uh, I'll, maybe I'll just do Pathway on Sunday just to make up for the number. Because Everspace is kind of like the extra one that I play anyways. And uh, I have actually got the most videos of so far. So probably better we just do that. Just waiting for Pathway's weirdly long load time. Go. This one was also better in the upper right, correct? Yeah. For sure. It was okay. Uh, dreams in the desert stand. Oh yeah, wait, we're already doing Mission 4. I thought we had to start it. No, we, we were doing it. I don't remember much about it. Oh yeah. Right, right, right. Onwards to glory! You reach a rocky landscape. Intersperse with rugged mastiff. Mastiffs? Not mastiffs, those are dogs. A vague smell of sulfur hangs in the air. Uh, as you are considering whether to avoid the inhospitable area, you spot a steaming water hole surrounded by rocks. Turquoise crystals give the edge of the pool an unreal color. You cough as the swaths. Uh, I never knew how to say that. 
uh, of uh, acrid steam sting your throats. Do you want to take a short break or leave immediately? Uh, no. I'm gonna go with no on this one. Uh, if it's already hurting my throats, I cannot imagine that prolonged exposure is is better. Oh, good. I can buy stuff, maybe. Want to buy some gas? Yeah. Oh, what the? What is this? What? <laughs> I don't have the money for it. But there's goddamn power armor in this game. <laughs> All right. Well, okay, hydraulic armor, but it's power armor. Hmm. Have a look at these. Let's see, 48 to 64. I'm sorry, did I say 48 to 64? 48 to 64, oh my god. And sorry, what is your gun? Well, I'll just break these down super quick so I don't have to keep having back and forth here. Uh, for... I don't know if that accurate... I think that accuracy is actually plus one because of Jackson's ability. I'm pretty sure it's still minus five. Eight. Five. 9%, 13, oh, and as a side, it gives plus 5 damage, and plus 1 endurance. Okay, now, let's compare and contrast, does way more armor shredding, does the same accuracy, range, one less bullet, does less of a crit chance, uh, does way more crit damage though, also low, and get, gives the damage thing, so, hmm, I don't know, I mean it does so much more damage, like 48 to 64 is a wild number compared to 36 to 48. Like, that's a hell of an upgrade, just in sheer damage. I don't have much to sell, do I? Oh yeah, I've got loads of crap to sell. Never mind. Alright. Uh, uh, we don't need this anymore, right? You can prepare for 22, you prepare for 18. There you go. This is a garbage pistol. This is a garbage burner. Give me that. Okay. Do this, and we'll get some gas. And some supplies. Mm, yeah. Okay. I feel pretty good with that. Uh, especially since I'm going to go like this. And I don't know if I should keep this or not. I should probably keep and give... Like someone someone on the B or possibly C team. That seems like the right idea. <clears throat> okay. Oh yeah, actually. <laughs> Before I get into combat... Hmm. Yeah, I think we're all right for this room. Probably heal up in the next one. Beneath the glaring desert sun, you spy a handful of palm trees swaying in the wind. You have found an oasis. Full of anticipation, you approach the grove. Desperate to quench your thirst after your arduous journey, you head directly to the well, only to discover it holds no water but sand. Someone has filled in the well. That's spiteful. That's like a level of spite. To fill an entire well with sand. German soldier. Sorry, the well is closed right now. Dun dun dun! You spin around to see a squad of German soldiers. Their leader sneers at you. 
It appears we share a common interest. Parga Serbits in its thousand towers of blue and red porphyry. Por porphyry? This, this game is really good at giving me new words I have never seen before. Porphyry. Sure. Buried beneath the, the desert sands. Don't deny it. Your, your activities in Jeddah were hardly discreet. Captain Rook... Rookvart? Rookvart? Captain Rookvart left us here with orders to spare you any further trouble. Your journey ends here. And without warning, the Germans open fire. But glad they got to monologue first. It's so important. Or the max. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, blindsided means I can do one of the two, right? Six. 100% chance. Take it. Go. Overwatch you. I'm so shocked. She always makes her mark. Oh, boo. I'm glad you wasted the heal on yourself. you got 15 out of 40 all right here's what's gonna happen next you are getting shanked good shank that should kill him um okay oh, yeah. there so let's Saunter on over here. Zap, ah, no bazap. Hey, oh yeah, sorry. All right. Oof. Not doing hot. Let's run you right up here. Well, got the medic. Um. Oh, that's not running. Oh well. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, one health. Disgusting. One health. Okay, well, you know what? What? Okay, how come it worked for you and not for me? Oh, because it's your bot and it's just doing your thing. I gotcha. Okay, well. I take it the, uh... I take it we uh, got rid of the, the Nazi command. Oh, is it still there? Yeah, it gives you a, a somewhat con uh, problematic console log. I remember. Oh, Natalie, no! Oh, right, there's still another guy down here I have to deal with. Okay. Uh, come down here.
Got no ammo? Uh, reload. That'll work. Yeah, that's fine. Confirm. Ah! Shred. Oh, jeez, guys. Killing me. percent shot accuracy that might be the lowest one to date what we get? oh butcher's knife all right oh an even better repair kit and two fuel not a lot of fuel to be honest <clears throat> your enemies lie defeated in the desert sand as you search them, you notice that one of the soldiers is still fighting for his life. It is their young leader. <coughs> you will never reach the cargo Starabet. The water of life will belong to the German people. Oh. And the young soldier takes one last shallow breath and then dies. Okay. You stare at each other in confusion. The Germans again? And what did he mean by the water of life? According to legend, Karga Serebit was surrounded by magnificent irrigated gardens. Could there be some kind of connection that you that has pre or had that has yeah that had previously eluded you? Oh my god, is this a four map? In the distance you see the silhouette of the sacred city of Mecca. Infidels are forbidden from entering the city on pain of death, and you maintain a respectful distance. No one knows ancient languages. Oh. You come across a group of pilgrims resting in the shade of the palm at the water hole. Rest? You unpack your blankets, but the men begin to whisper among themselves and cast disapproving looks in your direction. You are keen to avoid any trouble, and hastily pack your equipment before bidding the men farewell with a nod. It'd be cool to, like, see the city of Mecca that I'm not allowed to touch on the map somewhere. Just throw it out there. So I think my best bets come straight down here. Cut across. Long hike. But I, there's a guaranteed, uh... <sighs> guaranteed shop there. Mind you, I only have 260. It's not like, whatever. Yeah, let's level up Bellamy. Uh, agility. What does willpower do again? Number of bravery. Eh. That's just health. What's agility? That's movement speed, right? Yeah. But let's go with agility. Get the the good doctor moving. Huh. Well, the butcher's knife is better than the Bowie knife, which I find questionable, but. Okie dokie. Congratulations, you have a new knife. Excuse me? Oh, the tarnished machete is actually better. Huh. Alright, move to page two. Uh, I'm going to valuables because we got a better one now. Alright. Speaking of valuables, uh, use... That on Bellamy. Get him his armor back. Jackson. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Message. And mute. Yep. Oh yes, I forgot. Um, hold on. A quick second here.
Okay, there we go. Okay, and yeah, my focus thing seems to have been fixed. I guess it was the uh, the GOG overlay that was just freaking out with the uh, <clears throat> with the having in and out, and it just going to like a, a dead screen. Which is good. Fix. Pass an old abandoned mine entrance. It's not accessible. Okay. I do wish this game had an option. I think, not an option, but like, if the thing's not important, is there a checkbox somewhere I could be where it's just like, I don't need the flavor, please. Just let me move until something, uh, like, event happens. You hear the drone of propellers long before you see the menacing silhouette of a plane in the sky above you. You crane your necks, but you cannot make out any markings. The plane arcs past in wide circles before finally turning off and disappearing into the clouds. Like, again, like, alright. I'm gonna have a gas problem soon. If I don't, uh... Okay. <laughs> if I don't, uh, find some traders and stuff soon. I mean, I know I'm heading towards one, but... Yeah. Plays out. I spilled some tea. You hear loud shouts and the bellowing of galloping camels. Moments later, they appear from all sides. Heavily armed camel riders surround you and force you to stop. Judging by their dress and confident yet disciplined demeanor, this is a squad of Ikhwan cavalry. These devout warriors perform police duties for the Saudi royal family. The leader gets off his camel and surveys you grimly. Um... You do not look like the foreign, the foreign soldiers we heard about. You hurriedly confirmed this observation. You learned that the squad was sent to protect the inhabitants of the plateau from the German tax. It is comforting to know that you are not alone in opposing Captain uh, Rukert's expedition. But unfortunately, you can't tell the warriors anything but where, the whereabouts of the Germans. You wish the men success in their search. A short time later, the entire squad disappears again into the endless sea of dunes. Okay. Uh, yeah, we are gonna trade. What do you got? Okay, so I can buy some fuel. Look at that stylish jacket. New tweed suit. Ooh. Uh, I desperately need stuff here, so I'm gonna sell some junk. I'm gonna sell. Is that better or worse than your current pistol? I can't remember. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna have to make some hard financial decisions here. Pistol sells for 300. Who are you comparing this weapon to? Why are you comparing it to him? All that. Uh, 300 for the suit. Hold on. Somebody can somebody actually wear this? It's equivocable. Oh, wait. Oh, he gets... Wait, what? Oh, this is better for him. Alright. Well, then. Sell that. Okay. Two, three, four, five. And I'll buy a supply. Oh, I'll buy two supplies. There we go. Okay. You know what? Max it out. I got $15 in my pocket. <laughs> this is gonna be fine. We've never been screwed by being poor before. Okay, something isn't right with the strange bunker you found amongst the desert dunes. Uh, you carefully sneak closer. Your caution was justified. A group of cultists is working uh, at the bunker entrance. Cultists, eh? Yeah, let's let's goof up some uh, cultists. I get advantage though. That's always good. Where are the cultists? What do we actually have? We have one actual cultist. Uh, infected, and a bunch of beefy zombies. Um, uh, this ain't so bad. Jackson, you, you over here. Alright. 
much damage can How much armor you got? Nah, eh, you're not so bad. Okay, you come over here. Can I just put him down in one shot? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Doing good. What's your range? Oh, uh, wow, you can walk pretty far. All right. Move we'll you over here then. Uh, let's maximize our ambush ability. Ah, I can't quite put him down. All right. That's still a pretty good first round. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Double wow. Woo! I, was, I forget the cultists can throw stuff. Real pain in the butt. Get rid of you. Oh, for the love of Mike. Forgot they explode. Amateur mistake. Hmm. I don't know if I can revive her. Better end this quickly. Yeah, now I have to be uh, uh, effective. How many mobs are left, though? Just the two. Oh, I, I got this and no problem. Hey, catcher. <laughs> you showed up at a good time to see my extremely good at playing thisness. Um, you know what? Let's spread us out a little bit. You. Put you down. Just run you up. Cultists and infectious army. Yeah, yeah. I totally based on infected and uh, the infected exploding, or I would have moved her first. That was rookie mistake. But first time actually getting caught by it. But yeah, cultists. I always forget that they can lob extremely effective grenades, which is a problem. Okay, but he'll be dead next turn. So, oh, hello. See if I can just stab him to death. There we go. Alright. We're okay. Damage dealt, not found. Not reveal all the items. Mm, okay. Might be an improvement. Okay, so she's still KO'd. Can I... Do this? Okay, whoo! <laughs> okay, we're fine. That was concerning. Okay, let's pick some armor up here. Uh, okay. You know what? I think Jackson's earned himself a heal. Uh, now. Professor! It's the exact same gun. Alright, well, move it to page two. We still have to be pretty economic with our gas here. You quickly co come to a halt near a half-buried jeep. You quickly realize there's nothing to be found here. Alright. Gitcher, can you... Uh, can you uh, uh, remind me, in the original of this, did it used to just let you go to a point and if there was no event there, it just 
let you continue? Is that a thing that used to happen? Or am I just misremembering? The featureless burial chamber ends in a small claustrophobic room. Uh, with a sealed sarcophagus in the center. Oh, really? There was always an event? I sure do wish there was a way to skip pointless events. Across four maps, the ones that don't add anything... Yeah, screw, sure, just... Oh, screw with it. It's fine. Uh, well, gas and supplies, I'll take it. Yeah, I know they're short, uh, which is fine, but like... They're not adding anything. It sure would be nice to just not. Uh, okay. Point long, you probably didn't have the proper skill for it. Uh, you sneak up on an improvised Wehrmacht camp. Soldiers are piling sandbags, dingling tree and ditches. There's a lot of activity. Off to one side, you see a small barbed wire stockade with a sentry in front of it. Do they have a prisoner? You're trying to decide what to do. Free it. Ah, here we go. Baron. Baron clears his throat and stands to attention. Then he marches confidently up to the sentry, who immediately chambers around. Last time this happened, uh, Baron uh, screwed the pooch. So let's see if he does better this time around. Baron reaches into his satchel, takes a handful of crumpled papers, and holds them under the guard's nose. Aha! As the soldier scans the papers, Baron uh, lays him low with a death blow to the temple. You hold your breath, but the rest of the camp has not noticed. Baron soon finds the keys to the compound, or compound? A compound. Compound, and returns with the prisoner. Who is this prisoner? Annabelle! Realize the prisoner from her bond, uh, release the prisoner from her bonds, and she shakes her hands, uh, your hands effusively. <clears throat> Annabelle would be probably a southern voice, right? Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Things would have gone badly without you. Hey. You look like you could do with some help. I don't suppose you have room for another passenger. I mean, Annabelle, you're, like, rad. I like that you come with a headshot ability. But, uh, I've got a team in good standing at the moment. So, I'm just gonna send you on your way. Maybe we'll run into you again in five moves. Um, the ancient well house has taken some rough treatment. Clay jars have been smashed and the open door hangs from its hinges. Could the perpetrator still be in the well shaft? A short time later, you sneak up on a squad of soldiers. They remain oblivious to your approach and keep tapping on the walls of the caverns under the well. Let's murder them by shooting them in the back. You know, the way heroes do. Oh, there's only four of you. Trooper there, trooper, trooper, shock trooper right there. Oh yeah, you guys are hosed. Uh, okay, you're not even worth shooting. Is she Caribbean? I don't know, she's got a name like Annabelle and I didn't really investigate the character. So if she's Caribbean, I shall correct well. I don't know if I can do a Caribbean accent. In any way, that's not going to sound A, kind of racist, and B, anywhere near authentic, even if it didn't sound vaguely racist. So, Annabelle, who might be Caribbean, is probably not going to get a Caribbean voice, because that would probably edge it right into problematic. Yes, just put Mon at the end of your sentences. Thank you, Pokemon Freak, for... Uh, for, for really just mwah, putting the button on on that. <laughs> that is probably problematic. Yeah? Little bit. Oh, I can't stab you? Fuck. All right. Well, let's come up here. Let's try and shoot you like a pleb. Or... Uh, okay, head doctor. And okay, you come up here. I'm just gonna shoot you. All right, you down. Not a bad first round. Okay. All right. Come over here. And 
zippity zap him. Then you come here. You stab the bejesus out of him. And you come down here. You're gonna ambush if they decide to come out of the room. And where should you go? You can come right here and just reload your gun. How do I feel about the disintegrator? Uh, it's growing on me. The minus 15 accuracy is still a pain, but I know as I level him up, I can get more accuracy. So like, I feel like the disintegrator feels a lot better late game uh, than early game because he misses a good chunk of shots if he doesn't have direct line of sight. Um, uh, so yeah, that, that part's not fantastic. But, I mean, I appreciate that it doesn't have... How, where, how do I get to this guy? I appreciate that it doesn't take ammo. Like, that's good. Uh, I guess you just wait there. I need to draw him out. Put some enticing targets in front of him. Yeah, I will admit the disintegrator uh, is growing on me. I mean, it does do a lot of armor damage, and he's got a reasonably good one on him now. So I could starting to see the benefits. I need him to kill more people, though, so he levels up further, so I can turn him into much more of a murder machine. I think the disintegrator, like the the ceiling, on the ray guns is super high. Aim for. How much health do you got? 64. Come over here. I get you from anywhere. Yeah, but I can probably ambush. Break down the pipe. There we go. Try and get you the kill. Like that's a forty percent chance right now. So like, if he doesn't have direct line of sight, he's just the worst. There we go. He's really bringing down the shot accuracy. I gotta say. Oh yeah, I get it. Yeah, like once he has quantum leech and he can just start to self heal, um, I get the appeal. Yeah, I absolutely understand the appeal of that. All right, uh, a group of tax collectors who have set, uh, pitched a camp by a small brackish waterhole. Yeah, come on, Baron, fleece him. Men exchange uh, furtive glances and persuade Baron to join them in a harmless game of dice. He then enjoys a completely unexpected streak of luck. <laughs> uh, I like how we were supposed to get a, a fleece there, and yet we were the ones doing the fleecing. soldiers and camp and some ruins ahead of you and they have not noticed me yet how's everyone feeling uh, yeah goof them up picture events are the best I I love some of the events a lot more than the other ones like some of them are just practical like oh yeah the doctor can do doctory things and whatever I love when Baron gets to do stuff, because it's all sub like theatrical subterfuge, and when it fails, I can imagine how spectacular it fails just in the mind's eye, or the mind's theater. And I also love the Daredevil stuff, which because Jackson is, you know, Jackson's Indiana Jones. Um, I mean, he's not; he's legally distinct, but he's he is Indiana Jones. Um, and I just love 
the Daredevil stuff because it also, when it fails, it fails extremely good. And I'm I'm there for it. Uh, okay, so you got 64, you got 37. Can I shoot you from here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, can I also hit you from here? Oh, wow. Wasn't expecting an actual kill. But I'll take it. Uh, let's move you up a little. Back a little. Move you here. Uh, you're gonna come down here and you're just gonna stab a man. That was the wrong person. You're gonna shoot the hell out of him. Jackson getting a whip ability is a pretty popular suggestion. I mean, yes, I'm just thinking like... After a while, you can only be so legally distinct, you know? But I I do love the idea of him having or having a unique weapon class like that's like whip or something like that, or just adding a whip as a melee weapon. I think that'd be really cool. Something that has like can do the melee style damage, or has a unique ability to like disable or something, and has a range of two or three or something like that in a straight line. I think that could be kind of cool uh, if you're gonna add a whip. But obviously, you can't just be... Or pull enemies closer. Yeah, yeah, that would actually be cool. Like, equipping the whip could give you, instead of, like, bleed, as an example, yeah, it could do, like, pull or trip or stuff like that. Um, actually, they could go extra hard and make uh, a special ability for Jackson, like how there's, like, low profile and stuff like that. They could add another thing in here where if he is using a whip and you buy the ability and level up, you get a, a cool extra, like whippy thing that he can do. I think that'd be pretty cool. 40%? Jeezy. Jeezy. Let's move you back here. Well, whatever. Take it. Ugh! Oh, Baron! Disgusting. Uh, let's go. Yeah, I think there's a lot of fun you could have with Whip. There we go. Alright. Natalia, you just come down here and repair. That seemed like a bad shot to take. I mean, just looking at the... the... They shot over like four wall... three walls? Uh, to get to me. That's not an efficient line of sight. Oh, you can maybe hit him from here? Come on, Bellamy. Yeah, heart of the cards. Puggy shadow animation. I did not notice. Oh, but he's nerfed. Gas, 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 gas. All right, there we go. Uh, eh. I don't think that's actually a great shotgun. Or at the very least, I'm pretty sure I've already got something better. Page two. Uh, yeah, send that to page two for now. Everyone's still doing pretty well. Let's uh, repair Bellamy's armor. He's still pretty squishy, so. All right, what do we got here? So, uh, medium armor amount, sure. Up the repair amount, sure. This one, yeah, okay. Heavy armor. Okay, so in order to get this one, you need that one. All right, which that's not going to happen. I'm absolutely leaning into quantum leech. That seems like a much cooler ability. Uh, so we don't need the repair kit there because we could do it here. Threading. Damn it. Okay, yeah. Accuracy. 100%. How much? Plus 8? That's a big difference. A big difference. At a camel dung campfire, you meet two unlikely companions. The smaller of the two is richly dressed. His companion appears to be an... Oh my god. 
Achiel, Achiel fighter, uh, a Bedouin warrior from the Iraqi borderlands. You wonder what he is doing so far west, but the two men are not eager to talk about themselves. All they will say is that they are not on their way to Medina. Okay, could you make that sound any more suspicious? Hello. Yes, we are not on our way to Medina. Stares intently. You come across a German excavation site. At first glance, it appears to be long abandoned, but then you notice some empty cans on the ground. Quick investigation reveals that provisions were opened recently. The Germans are probably somewhere inside the temple complex. What do you want to do? I want to find them. You cautiously, it, cautiously examine the entrance that has recently been excavated from the desert sands. Then, you advance quietly through the passage into, uh, into the interior of the complex. Oh, there they are. Uh, my... <laughs> my not on, my, on the way to Medina t-shirt is raising a lot of questions answered by my not on the way to Medina t-shirt <laughs> that's good well done Pokemon Freak well done that's good I like that <clears throat> as you turn a corner a loud shout makes you jump the next room is occupied by a large group of German soldiers one of the sentries has spotted you is alerting his comrades. Prepare to do battle. It is a good day to die. Preferably don't not, not dying though. Ooh, wow, two guys real close on us. Uh what do we got here? Level five Tesla Borg. Okay. Where are you? There. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna be a painful battle if I'm not paying attention. Uh we're gonna split the difference a little bit here. Uh, Bellamy is going to get hosed. Oh boy. This is the time that I would absolutely desire a, uh, someone with a grenade could do a lot of work in here. Sadly, I don't have anybody with a grenade, so. Uh, I think the best course of action here is to fall back some. And let them kind of filter into us. Oh. Not a great overwatch. I'll do that. Also, I didn't realize Bellamy's health was so low, so he's a liability right now. Oh, Bellamy! Killing me, bud. Can you double shot right now? 50% chance on all of you. Alright, well. You hit the one I didn't want you to hit, and you missed the one I wanted you to. Alright, well. Beans. How much health do you have? 64. So that's not happening in one go. Come back here. Come on. Part of the cards. Jackson, you can do it. Oh! <laughs> Off by one. Oh, what a bummer! <laughs> ah, he did so well! 63 out of 64. Just couldn't clinch it. Oh, right. The letting them come to me thing isn't going to work because they've got super big range. Okay. Alright. You can, do. you can repair stuff. I think I might actually use that. Yeah, they do have uh, equally bad accuracy against cover, yes. But I mean, they do still... <laughs> this is one of those things where it's like, yes. But if they hit, they're going to hit like a whole bunch. So I'm going to run you up here and I'm going to take a chance with first fire here. Oh my god. How do you miss him? How do you continue to fail? Uh, okay. Bring you back up here. Uh, come on. Okay, there we go. Better. Uh, that's a pretty good overwatch. 
think I might take that Overwatch. I know there's a guy right there that's probably going to come right up on me, but... Okay. okay. All right, all right. Ah, it's not the one I wanted to hit, but I'll take it. I wanted him dead, but... Okay. Uh, do you have enough to double hit yet? No, yes you do, but you do not have... Okay. All right, come here. Pull in him. Pull in him. There we go. Now... Where can I hit you from? I can hit you from here. Zap him. Ugh. Oh my god! Brutal. You all are just the worst right now. Come over here. There we go. Thank you. Disintegrator. You can do it. Hey, there we go. And you are getting shanked. There we go. Give me something good to eat. Oh, okay, two gas. Eh. Not ideal, but whatever. Oh, I don't have six cents. Oh. Well. From a distance, you see the massive sarcophagus that dominates the entire room, surrounded by pillars. You approach the colossal stone coffin and examine it carefully. The sarcophagus has survived the millennia untouched by grave robbers. Hooray! Working together, you manage to lift the heavy stone lid aside, and with your heart in your mouth, you finally appear inside! I've got some stuff. Ooh. Got good stuff. Money. Less money. Okay. Level up Baron. Uh, oh, here we go. No. Survive from grave robbers until now. Yeah, we're not grave robbers. We're liberators. All right. So, Baron, do we give you a support ability? So, useful for if our primary slash only healer actually goes down in a fight. Or, Treading Shot, a power up attack, tripling damage done to the enemy armor. So, we can absolutely goof up some of the heavier armored stuff. Hmm. Both of those are useful in extremely different styles of play. Like, they both are a support command. It's just, you know, uh, uh, offense is the best defense, or defense is the best defense. <laughs> I think Shredding Shot. I think I'm going to try and be a little more aggressive with Bar Baron. <clears throat> yeah. Congratulations, Baron. Now, we are going to use this on... Follow me. This on... Jackson. Yeah, okay. Page 2 for now. After hours and scorching heat, you uh, see a stone well at the side of the track. Finally, cool water. 
With parched throats, you rush to the well. It feels like an eternity until the bucket appears at the end of the rope, filled to the brim with water. Uh, inspect that water. Dalia scrutinizes the water suspiciously and finally wrinkles her nose. It smells stale and brackish. We should think twice about drinking this. I don't really think I need to drink it. Like, my people are okay. I know if it works out, it's a free heal, but if it doesn't work, everyone gets hurt. I don't really need to. Uh, let's patch up Jackson. That was not the thing I wanted to do. Shit, that was a waste. I meant to give him health, not armor. Whatever. That was a waste of supplies. I'm sure it'll be fine. Nothing bad ever happens to us. Uh, oh, look at that. Now I feel even more stupid. But whatever. Should have seen, looked at the map before doing that. Surely nothing will happen to us after having absolutely wasted supplies. <sighs> you sigh with relief when you spot a small oasis sediment nestled amongst a grove of palm trees. Exhausted from your journey through the relentless heat, you long to bathe in the cool oasis waters. But an eerie sensation causes you to pause. Something doesn't feel right. A deathly silence hangs over the settlement. Not a soul is seen. Sensing danger, you skirt around the settlement and approach it cautiously from the rear. Your intuition has served you well. You see a large group of German soldiers lurking behind the huts. An army transport truck concealed among the palm trees nearby. Hee hoo hee ha! Aww. <laughs> Shame I don't have uh, my usual fourth character. Uh, hidden behind a mud hut on the outskirts of the oasis, you quietly debate your next move. Uh, well, yeah, let's goof him up. I'm given the advantage. What do we got? Bunch of dogs. And a couple officers. Oh, this, ain't, this is this is this ain't nothing. This ain't nothing. All right, where are things? There's a dude way the heck up there. Okay, excellent concealing job, folks. Well done. We never would have spotted them. Oh, that water is surprisingly well animated. Like, it's very fluid for pixel art. Uh, I'll bring you up here. Hog over there, right? So let's... Not even a point yet. Bring the good doctor here. Yep. Oh, those are both snipers. That's gonna be irritating. Okay, Bellamy. You can't. Hitting me right now. How can I not shoot? <laughs> wow, that didn't actually put it down. Alright. Uh, where can I put you? I just parked you right in front of it. Right overwatch, just down this channel. Surely a dog is gonna come. Why can't anybody hit this dog from here? What is this? What is this wall made of? It's like in a weird spot. I cannot hit it unless I'm like down the barrel. This is so weird. Oh, so weird.
Oh, look at you, trying to flank me. God, the sight lines on this level are just buck wild. Shoot both of them, maybe from there. Double shot, pooch. Yeah, it's fine. It was a calculated risk. Uh, let's move you right up here this way. Point blank that dog. Go. Uh, moving into action. Oh. Useless, let's just reload. Bring you right up here. Lead a man. Uh. Or just kill him outright. I'll take either one. shoot be anyone from anywhere on this map this is ridiculous Get up here and finish the job. Oh. Kill him like the Band of Brothers scene that infuriates me every time I watch it. Alright. Alright. Sure. Yes. Good. Yes. I don't know what that last thing was. Oh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> As the dust begins to settle, you swiftly search the hut. There is no trace of their occupants, but you find several documents in the German military trucks, which you take a moment to examine. Uh, in addition to standing orders from, uh, for desert operations, oh, yeah, you come across a sealed envelope with a special Nazi command group stamp, Top Secret Special Orders. You rip it open at once. But it said top secret. Project Valhalla. Uh, oh, sorry. Project Valhalla has already surpassed our wildest expectations. It is evidence that the objects retrieved during our expedition to Iceland shows the same origin as those discovered in the course of our operations in Ceylon. Ceylon. These are clearly the remnants of highly advanced prehistoric civilization with settlements across northern Europe and much of the Asian continent. There is absolutely no doubt that this civilization was established by the Aryan Master Race. Well, hold on. There's a little bit of a leap there. <sighs> you fear that you will lose your minds in the searing key of the desert. Fine sand drifts on the air and fills your lungs and eyes. Where you look, there's nothing but sand around you. 
Little wonder that uh, the explorers christened this region the Empty Quarter. It seems inconceivable that anything might survive, let alone flourish in the hostile wasteland. Suddenly, out of the corner of your eye, uh, of your uh, suddenly out of the corner of one eye, you spy a flock of birds circling in the sky above. Perhaps an oasis lies ahead. When you reach the site beneath the circling birds, you make a grisly discovery: the mangled remains of a German army deep. You examine the vehicle and soon discover that its front axle is broken. Even the simplest of mechanical faults can have fatal consequences in the desert. You are not surprised to discover the bloated, discolored remains of the vehicle's two drivers in a nearby tent. The men must have died of dehydration in the last couple of days. Well then, would they become bloated and discolored? One would think that they get more of a... Uh... Jerkied... Kind of look. Uh, since they're in like a dry heat kind of situation. Uh, you leave the hapless Germans to their fate and search their vehicle for anything useful. Desiccation comes to mind. Yeah. Like, you would think that they would, like, dehydrate and mummify, if anything. Give me gas. Give me gas. One supply. Alright. Well, fine. Take it. Uh, well, that's better armor for you, so, cool. And, 17, what does your denim do? Denim does 18, alright, well, there you go, swap your pants. Two, two, Have everything on page two for now. Uh, we gotta repair Talia's oh, armor, because she's got nothing. All right, Let's have a look at this map. Uh, so I think, think we're just gonna scoot around the top here and go straight to uh, the place where we can buy stuff. With plenty of opportunity for events to happen, and then we'll check the gas situation because I think this this looks to be the last map. I'm not seeing dashes onto the next thing, so we'll see. I mean, I've only got six fuel, so I'm not in a great spot. Uh, the ticker set, the ticker set up a stand on the side of the road. Well, nope. Found the bodies of two Bedouins between the abandoned huts. They're both leaning against a dried up well. Obviously, the men had planned to refresh their water supplies here, and they probably reached the end of their strength when they arrived here. <coughs> As soon, uh, as soon as you examine the bundles of, that the two Bedouins were carrying, you find a few tiles of blue-red stone. The tablets look like decorative elements that would have been removed from a wall. Karga Serabet, whose splendor looms blue-red over the eternal desert. The two Bedouins must have found the lost city. Little good it did them. A dried-up well was enough to put an end to their journey. And yet, now you know. You now know. No. And yet. Jesus, please us. And yet, now you know now <laughs> that you have almost reached your goal. That is some word garbage. Hargus Serabit will soon reveal its secrets. Well, unless we die in the desert because we have no gas. You know. One of the other. Uh, what looked like a large boulder from a distance turns out to be a Wehrmacht Jeep with a lone soldier tinkering at its engine. You see him jump around the center of your engine, but then he relaxes when he sees you. Uh, should be able to make that shot. I'm assuming between now and there, I'm going to get into a fight, and that fight is going to yield me gas. Uh, you wouldn't hurt a Hamas Zeta, would you? I'll be gone as soon as I fix the engine. Yeah, fix the engine. The spark plugs have come loose. The man thanks you profusely. Before saving off, he tells you about a secret Wehrmacht supply camp not far from here. You follow his instructions and soon reach some rocks. Or, you know, we'll just do this. Uh, you soon find a crevice in the rocks that the desert described. All right, and it's been occupied by snakes. Piss off, snakes. Baron grabs a dirty stick and branches it wildly at the ill-tempered snakes. The animals throw their way reluctantly. You can now get to the crates. Way to go, Baron. <laughs> ah, no gas. 
supplies though, which we do need. Four gas. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can just get there. Something isn't quite right with the lone uh, desert bunker ahead of you. The eerie silence, the sealed door swinging loosely on its hinges, the body of the soldier missing its legs. Yeah, I wonder what the giveaway was there. Uh, with weapons drawn, you start to explore the bunker. You soon come across a group of strange creatures clawing at the remains of some dead soldiers. Eh, yeah. Sure, fight some more undead. And a cultist. Because it can't just be undead. It's gotta be cultists, too. Okay, so there's one of those things. Where are you? Oh, you're all the way back there? Mother. Well, we are going to stick to... We're going to stick to the south. As much as you... Do this. What is that? You're... Oh, you're a cultist too. Oh, okay. Well. Uh, you're a zombie? I'm not concerned. Up you get... Uh, I can just regular stab you, because I am just going to shoot you as well. Here. Okay. Get rid of the cultists. Oh, yeah, come on. Alright. Cool. <sighs> Yeah, I figured. My hope was just to avoid the spore bear, like, completely. Move you two up. Yep. Oh, wait, can I not go this way? Oh my god, do I actually have to go around? That sucks. Stay the hell away from me. You and I are not talking on speaking terms. Can you hit him from there? Oh, but you can't hit that guy. Okay, let's keep him pinned down. Oh, we can go up this way. Well, now I feel like an idiot. Sight, up you come. You. Oh, yeah, we'll just wait. Yep, we good. <laughs> yeah, you don't do nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna overwatch the hell out of you. Actually, no, I'm gonna disintegrate you now. I gotta level bell me up. I need him to get that experience. There we go. Woo. 100% accuracy. That's what we like to see. Hmm. hmm. Not you. Hmm. We lose a little bit of accuracy, but we get armor shredding, crit damage, and just way more damage overall. But we also lose the... Oh no, that's what that is. The plus five accuracy is baked into it. Yeah. You know what? That's just a better weapon. On to page two. I mean, yeah. It's not glowy, but... But it is going to do significantly more damage, so I'll take it. In the middle of the road, you find an old map. It's completely indecipherable. Okay. That's a cool story. A group of soldiers is dug in behind sandbags in a fortified camp. 
They've not noticed you yet. Well, I've noticed them. Anytime they haven't noticed me, I'm pretty much always going to, to press the advantage. Especially when the game's lowballing it with, like, four guys. They're so dead. Let's see. The dog's way back there. That, that's... You go there, you go there, you go there. Okay. Bring you up here? No, oh, okay. Come up here. You stab a man. 74? You're quite the officer. Earn your stripes. You come down here. Not a great ambush, but I will be able to stop anything that crosses right in front of us. Yeah. Yeah. Bad dog. Try and do this. Let me come over here. Two. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, just run up on him. Lead him. If you don't kill him outright, there we go. Afita Zane. Shiny. Gas stations nearby. Coincidentally, man, I'm gonna not be stoked if there's no gas here. Worn jungle garb. Alright. Uh, okay. We don't need that. Okay, good, good, good. So, money. Gas, 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 gas. Supply. Yeah, that should do. That's a that's a good shotgun though. Too bad no one here uses shotguns. All kinds of equipment to check or to redistribute later though. So we only have six fuel. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have just enough. Hopefully we don't run into one of those stupid events where we lose fuel. You stop at the site of a Wehrmacht jeep parked at the bridge of a dune. Where at least you need closer. Uh, as you peer over the ridge, you spot a unit of German soldiers overseen by their officer. They're working on... Okay, so it's the pyramid event. Wait and watch. You can after them. Continue. Yep. Yep, y'all got blasted. I can't remember what happened last time with this one. You know, I've got supplies. If someone gets blasted, I can just unblast them. You carefully approach the, the sinister sarcophagus. Before you can stop him, Jackson is already peering greedily over the edge of the sarcophagus. A blinding light fills the room and you hear Jackson's desperate screams. Yeah. The zap. Oh, he's blinded. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, well. Uh, so that just lowers his accuracy, right? Uh, dexterity minus one. You don't have a lot of dexterity. All right. Well, Jackson's not going to be doing too hot in the next little bit. I don't know how long that lasts. Oh. Um. You know what? Just in case, I'll take that. Just one extra ammo, just in case. 
Right, combat, that makes sense. The silhouette of an abandoned temple appears between the dunes. Mighty pillars tower before you. What secrets? Lay hidden, lay hidden here. I'll just make up words now. Suddenly, a shot shatters the silence, and you dive, recover, and peer to the ground. You've walked into a German ambush. All right. Bum, bum, bum. What do we got? Snoot load of dogs. Oh, I've done this map before. So, go here, you go here. And you can go here and then doctor there. Okay. So, how much health do you guys have? 49. a good overwatch dang oh the dog didn't do anything that's very weird oh, now it never will I'm freeing you from your Nazi slaves or your Nazi slave drivers there we go. Uh, oh yeah how much health do you have six all right just for fun punch him oh my god Natalia you monster you punched him super dead I'm so proud of you. How much health is that? I think. Alright, there we go. Ouch. Okay, Baron? Time for your massive shredding shot. Tell me. Right up on this guy and finish him off. Uh, I think they're going this way. Take that chance. Well, you miss every shot you don't take, you know. But... fire here. Alright. Oh, oh, we get to do the thing. Yeah. Meltdown. Yeah. <laughs> Enemies never line up in a, a row for me like that. Love it when that happens. Gave me some stuff. Okay. Okay, so you had a pistol. Which one's which? That's the new Neville? It just does more damage? Yep. Direct upgrade. Uh, that's grenade stuff, so they go to page 3. Three on the 
So let me put you on Jackson's view. Alright, let's just patch everyone up. You've earned it. You can have some armor repair as a treat. At the center of a depression, you find a pitch black obelisk with a surface like polished glass. What you initially thought was a shapeless bundle of rags turns out to be the lifeless body of a German soldier lying in the desert sand with his arm outstretched at the foot of the obelisk. Uh, a strange humming sound emanates from the obelisk. Eh, let's explore the area. The disconcerting drone emanating from the obelisk reminds you of the hum of a power line. The smell of burning flesh hangs in the air. Could the soldier have been electrocuted? Uh, uh, Bellamy takes off his jacket, folds it carefully, and then lays it in the desert sand to isolate himself before bravely reaching for the obelisk. The humming sound stops instantly. A few away, a feet away, a hole opens up into the desert sand. I'm sorry, did we just actually science a solution? You look down the shaft and see a small burial chamber containing a strange structure, not unlike a sarcophagus. You soon find its opening mechanism. What might be hidden inside? Chains? Some gas and some supplies. Alright. Aw, sadly I can't search it again. But, uh, is that all? Disappointed, you use your torches to search the rest of the chamber. Perhaps you overlooked something. However much you search, you find nothing of value. You set off again, leaving the strange obelisk far behind you. Oh well. Another combat. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, Bellamy, you can level up. Yeah, Quantum Leech. Let's do it. There was current through. Oh, Bellamy finds fuel. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's super useful. Okay. Um, yeah, we're easily healthy. Beyond the next sand dune, ancient walls rise abruptly from the desert sands. It's a deserted temple. It doesn't take long to uncover the entrance. You set out to explore the complex and run straight into a German ambush. How are they ambushing us? How could they possibly have known we were coming here? Um, uh, okay. It's gonna be... Get together. Uh, ba 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 with it. Okay. We're going to run you to cover. You know what? Let's set up an overwatch. Ah, beans. I chose poorly. <laughs> Uh, go up here. Get a new Overwatch. Better Overwatch. What? I want to try using this. Yeah! Free heals, free heals. How dare you? Wait, did you just counter overwatch me? Sir? No, actually, follow me? Come here. A better version of the gun he was just using. I'll take it. Jackson, how have you still not leveled up? Somehow, 
despite the many, many things Jackson does for the team, he's still only level 5. Low int? Wait, does that actually play into it? Determine the amount of experience. Not about my own. Huh. So he's too much of an idiot to level up. Okay. Alright, well, that's a brand. I'll take it. Uh, this gun is better in every way. Congratulations. We should probably patch you up. Come on, tell me. Uh, Baron. Patch up. Bellamy's armor. Alright, there we go. As we're about to do what is certainly uh, a protracted fight sequence. You look about in disappointment. Are these the collapsed foundations really all that remains of Karga Cerebus? Where are the fountains? The pleasure gardens? Yikes. And the, su the sumptuous palaces? Yikes. That the Bedouin people speak of on long nights when the moon hangs low in the heavens above the vast desert. Is Karga Sarabit nothing more than a near forgotten dream? You're about to turn your backs on the city's somber ruins when a strange rock formation attracts your attention. As you approach it, you spy three German military trucks parked close to a half buried tunnel entrance. It seems that Captain uh, Rukert and his men made it to Karga uh, uh, Sarabit. With your weapons at the ready, you sneak past the abandoned truck and enter an ancient network of subterranean water tunnels. The cisterns of Karga Cerebet form a sprawling tunnel system. You explore the passages until the sound of gruff voices alerts you of the nearby presence of soldiers. Concealed behind a low wall, you quickly take stock of the situation. A strange basin filled to the brim with a shimmering black liquid dominates the center of the gigantic chamber. Several lead pipes lead from the basin to a throne-like object located at its head. From your position, you can see what appears to be a strangely misshapen statue seated on uh, this uh, bas uh, basalt, basalt throne, but you are unable to make any out in details from a distance. Several of the soldiers set to work on the lead pipes, while others begin to clean the ancient throne of the thick layer of dust that has settled upon it for thousands of years. This is quite the story! An officer crouches down to read the strange uh, uniform inscription that adorns the dais. Yes? Let's see what we have here. Those of life, resurrected to new life, ascendance of the heavens. Hmm. The rest is illegible. The triumphant flourish, the officer wheels about to face his companions. This is it, men. We have located the fountain of life. Ak Tsung! Take up your positions. I'm about to make history. With these words, Captain Rookert slowly descends the stone steps, taking each step carefully until the water reaches his chin. Something moves in the water, and Rookert suddenly vanishes beneath the surface with a rapidly interrupted scream. <laughs> Seconds later, the lead pipes gurgle noisily as the liquid is sucked out of the basin. The turmoil that engulfs the soldiers comes to an abrupt halt when suddenly, the stone statue moves and starts to lurch up from its throne with abrupt, jerking motions. What is happening right now? Okay. I live. The creature glances around in confusion. Father, your voice so quiet. All alone. Ah, not enough essence. The creature rears up before, suddenly freezing as if paralyzed. Seconds later, it crumbles into dust. Yikes. As if in a bad dream, you stare at the empty throne, trying to comprehend what, <laughs> what just happened. Suddenly, you hear a loud shout. You have been discovered. Is now the time? Is now the time to fight? Right now? After what just happened? This seems like a bad time to do this thing. Okay.
did. Well, whatever. Fine. What do we got? That's a lot of boys. Oh, whoa! These dogs have glowy, angry eyes. And they're armored. All right. Well, this is going to be a whole thing, huh? What do we got? Tesselborg 6? This is going to be quite the quite the combat. Where's he? He's over there. He's dangerous right now. Uh, okay. Go there. You go there. Need you to get behind cover. Valkyrium infused. Oh, is that what that is? Worf, worf. Okay. God, I wish I had a grenade right now. Oh, a, gra a grenade. It would go down just like so sweet. Okay. Uh, okay. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a whole thing. Okay. I'm just gonna try and deal with this situation as quickly as possible. Okay, one down. Uh, let's park you there. I wonder if he can hit. Yeah, he totally is. Well, oh, that was so close. Okay. Uh, can I just park you here. And hundred percent. All right, let's do that. Uh, you know what? Yeah, stab him. Okay, there we go. 51%. Oh, you know what? I can just get right up on him. It's just... Yeah, okay, okay. Alright. Okay, that's... That's what? Three down? Okay, okay. Good start. Good start. Good hustle. Uh, I'm gonna take a bit of a beating from the Shock Trooper and the Tesla Borg here, though. This officer's gonna be a right pain in the ass. Okay. All right. Huh. Okay. Cool. We're just gonna. This game just did me like a huge favor. Weirdly. Uh, can anyone get up there? Yeah, you can. Okay, we gotta kill this this guy. Like, kill him dead. Get to. And I can shoot him over the wall. I can shoot him from a distance. I might want to do that. Oh, hello. The perfect maneuver. Okay. And you are going to come up here. And I think maybe I just park Jackson right here. Yeah, the Nazis seem a little bit smarter. Admittedly. Oh, I just can't hit that guy. Oh, I should. I did it bad. I did it dumb. I thought I could hit them both from here. I should have stood right here. Stupid. All right, well. The officer is the most dangerous thing on the field right now for what he can possibly do to me, so I'll take it. Let's just overwatch this dude. It was a gamble. Hey! Love it when a good plan comes together. Uh, okay. You want a diagonal? It looks like you are. I'm going to expose myself to fire. I'm going to expose myself to fire. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, she can't do anything useful, so you're going to come up here. There. Uh, 
I don't have the I don't have the Huspa, unfortunately, to uh oh save for Twitch, yeah. There we go. Cool cool cool. You come down here. And I think I just put him down. Like I could overwatch and stop one of them. I think that's the better option. Yeah, fair. Um, you hit him? No, you can't. That's down to you too. Uh, well, I got my shanking stick on hand. Let's do that. Uh, and then well, we'll just park you right here at nine. At nine, he might just die. I don't know, I can't take ah! Jesus. 58. Yeah, totally safe for Twitch. Mm hmm. It's fine. This is fine. Don't worry about it. And repair. Turn over reload. There we go. You know what? Sure. Meditate. Why not? run down here and shank him. I don't think it's worth, uh... There we go. No problem. Bit of a hairy start, though. That could have gone very bad very quickly. Cool. Oh, even fancier potions. Cool. The floor of the mysterious throne room is littered with the bodies of slain soldiers. In a daze, you glance about the room when suddenly a noise issues from the lead pipe. Seconds later, the mysterious liquid fills the basin once again. Blur, 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 blur. Shudder passes down your spine as you study the basin. Seldom have you felt such a strong urge to take a cool, clean bath. Gritting your teeth, you turn your back on this cursed place forever to set out on your long journey to the coast. So wait, was the whole eternal life thing the fact that people were immortalized in statues? Is that what they were going for there? Because that's, that's a hella neat kind of story to play there. And I like that there's no payoff. Um, yeah, I'm going to pursue an adventure... We did Dreams of Desert Island, so we're, we're on the final frontier. Uh, except now... Well, you know what? That's fine. Screw the team. We're going to continue, and now here's where we get to distribute all our fun new stuff. <laughs> Are these the voyages of the Starship Enterprise? Perhaps. Um, this is a lesser potion circuit. So there we go. Net improvement. Who can heal? The good doctor can heal. Or the good. Yeah, yeah. Viducci yeah. can heal. Or Viducci. Uh, uh, can anybody else heal right now? No? Alright, just then that to valuables. Uh, okay. Who can also pop people's arms off? That's a better thing for Machete for you, right? There we go. Uh, what is this? Medium armor? Who can take medium armor? Heavy. That looks like medium. That gives you agility and event options, so I'm not touching that. Uh, yeah, Lenora. Here you go. And pretty sure no one else can... Just pretty garbage armor. That's invaluables. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, 
the tarnish machete better? Yes, it is. Anyone else need a stabber? Stabber? Eyeballs. Oh yeah, we got even better stabbers. Right, right, right. There you go. Yeah, we can just throw that valuables. Okay, now we get to the fun bit where I get to give people new guns. So, what do you got right now? Morley Burke 45. Okay, actually, I'll start with my murder machine. Oh my god, the Hastings is even better. Oh my god! <laughs> the Willoughby 10 bore. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh! Woo. Guns give me the vapors. Sure, the crit chance is a little bit lower, but just that damage. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. Yeah, this is this is a, a disgusting shotgun. Uh, Ketra, I, I I agree. I am I'm pretty stoked to have that on him because he that's unless I'm mistaken, he's effectively going to one shot almost everything he walks up to. There's probably something he can't, but, like, I feel like it's going to be few and far between. Eh, uh, here's grenade. Somebody else have worse grenades? Same kind. I have to do to unlock some of these people again. No. Pretty much anything except priests. Yeah. All right. Um, but who else was using shotgun? You're using a shotgun. How do you feel about this one? The Hastings one. Comparatively. Uh. Okay. So let's give you let's give you this one for the moment, so I can. So this one is actually worse. Okay. So you can keep that one. Cool. Uh, you use a machine gun. Add one for you. Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. The priest was a sniper. And give you that. And that's invaluable. I know that's no good. So. Yeah, that's an overall better shotgun for you. That one. Also, sorry, what was that? Uh, Quetcher, sorry. Also remember that Blast does reduced damage, so he can use it and still get a one-shot, potentially. What do you mean? It does reduced damage, but he would get... Oh! Oh, you're saying because it, the damage is so high, even if he's, you, like, in a bad matchup, he'll still just do so much sheer damage that, uh, he's just gonna wreck house. Pistols. I don't have a lot of pistol users. Yeah. Eh. Hmm. It does more damage. For strength, yeah, fifty percent. Yeah, right. yeah, I get. I get what you're saying now, Catcher. It's just it. It's such a dominating weapon that it's it doesn't matter uh, whether he's in a bad matchup or not. He's just gonna he's just gonna wreck shop. Okay, it's a, it's a, uh, this is a good ray gun, so I'm gonna move this to page three in case someone else can use a ray gun. Uh, I feel confident we can probably sell this sniper rifle. Let's see. I mean, it does more armor. It does more damage and slightly more damage. More armor shredding, da da da. But vitality plus two and accuracy plus five is pretty good as a base or uh, a uh, starting weapon, so I think I'm gonna keep that. Uh, 
Parabellum. Hold on, is this literally the Tarnished Dominic uh, 0.425 Prepare for War Gun? All right. I'm a little upset that the Tarnished Gun is better than the rare one. All right, well, here we go. And this is a new peak coat, which is medium armor, so heavy weights. That's a better bomber jacket, better bomber jacket. That's heavy armor, uh, that's heavy armor. This is worse, that's worse, okay. Uh, Venusi's already got one, so we can send that to valuables as well. Alright, I'm just gonna send this to page three. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay, so that's the... Everyone's been nice and upgraded. Uh, so we'll depart, and then I think I'm gonna call the stream there, because it's already 11.30, and hey, we actually managed to get pretty much from where we started to the end of that one. Usually, I have to, you know, stop right before that fateful fight. I sigh with relief as your dilapidated sailboat approaches the massive harbor walls of Djibouti. <laughs> Dry land under your feet again. Djibouti. Ooh. I like this map design. The captain of the windblown dow, an old Yemeni with a face like badly tanned leather, yikes, Judge Yi, points to the mountain peaks on the horizons. On the horizon. Ab Abyss uh, Abyssinia? What fate awaits you there? Will you find the mythical divine chariot in time? Uh, I have not, have I actually failed an adventure yet? Uh, no, actually I haven't. I almost did. Uh, and Baron actually ended up being kind of a clutch combat uh, person. <laughs> he, he saved the day on that one. Uh, so, by all accounts, I should have wiped, but did not. So, no. So, I have... When I played this game back in, like, V1, I 100% I wiped my team more than once. So I just didn't know what the hell I was doing. Okay. Can I get to... Can I get to the codex from the main menu? Oh, you can't. That's a little lame. Who we got? Uh, what do I want? No, I wanted. Oh, it was. That was right. Codex. Uh, trophies. I want to have a look at this. We're doing surprisingly well. After revive 15 characters to get uh, Doctor Chandra. That one's gonna be kind of weird. I'm gonna have to literally like slum, or like drag my feet to get that one. Evade 35 attacks. I'll I'll get that eventually. Kill 10 enemies with the ambush ability to unlock your jets. Oh, we're real close. Kill 75 enemies with melee attacks to unlock Shawnee. Well, we'll get her very soon. And Rose, finish any adventure with women to unlock Rose. Well, that one will be easy. I will definitely do that one. I mean, once we finish this, we can just start picking off these achievements, because I think I might just do that with this game. Uh, recruit 10 characters for times. I mean, some of these will just happen, right? Travel to a thousand locations. Oof, okay. Uh, finish an adventure. Okay, so... I need to at least do 20 adventures. <laughs> Back a bunch of trash items. What, what's a trash item? Watch collector, click three watches. Okay, fun. Collect a shit ton of money. Oh, don't 
don't yeah, don't have all the events here. Every group of hope. Okay. So these a whole bunch of these are just events that happen. That's fun. Technical achievements. Kill a bunch of Nazis. Alright. Kill a bunch of zombies. Alright. No, we're just about to get... No, we're not. Uh, so, ooh. Get a fancy sniper rifle from murdering with snipers. Pistol. Shotgunner. Butcher. That's knife. Not... <laughs> I didn't mean to make a pun there, but that is knife. Very knife. Uh, relentless progress. That's cute. I don't know how the heck I'm going to get this one. Kill four enemies with one attack? That's going to be like a lucky grenade. Yeah, the difference, Pokemon Freak, is that I didn't mean to make the pun, and your puns are 1,000% uh, purposeful. You intend them to be like, as they are. It was a bad pun, but like I didn't attempt to do it. Uh, heal a bunch of people. That'll happen eventually. Restore a thousand armor. Well, we'll get to that. And, okay. Okay, so, yeah. You know what, I think I might just play through to get all these achievements. Enemies. Attack dog. The Nazis must have done something unspeakable to these monstrous creatures. There's no training program in the world that can do such an implacable of nice well, bloodless, not to mention their strangely lifeless eyes. Oh yeah. That's no good. Yeah, the event achievements, I mean, the event achievements are just gonna be like, play the game until you get them, right? Like, there's... <laughs> that one's gonna be a lot of, like, uh, somewhere only available in specific adventures. Yeah, you know what, at that point... I will look up a guide to at least narrow down which adventures I need to be doing in order to, you know, get there. Uh, I'm not just going to wander blindly over and over um, when I get to that point. Uh, but yeah, those ones are just going to be like, do a thing and run around hitting every spot. Oh no, I ran out of gas. Abandon adventure. Try again, try again, try again, try again. So, and that'll be really good for leveling up the, the lower characters, because the, the bar will be significantly lower. Oh, really? No guides? Oh, crap. Maybe we'll be the first. Uh oh. Yeah, I mean, right now I, I'm not quite distributing my skill sets as well as I could, because, you know, there's some equipment, especially some of the... Have I gotten any of the unique rarity items? Is unique rarity, uh, like, gold? Because if so, yes, I've gotten uh, a gun and a jack, two jackets, I think. Um, oh, maroon. Oh, no. I have not received any maroon level items. Um, you're kind of colorblind, so you're not really sure. Huh? Uh, I definitely have up to an... Or like, well, okay, how about this? What color does this look like to you? The Valkyrium Crystal. That's orange. Okay. I have gotten up to orange. If there's something higher than this, I have not seen it. So. Uh, anyway. 
anyways, yeah. I'm going to call that for the night. So that was that went really well. That was a really fulfilling um yeah, just a really fulfilling game of pathway. I felt competent. I made it through like three maps. I didn't wipe. Overall, pretty good. Uh, I got a really disconcerting end to the fourth adventure. Uh, so actually, Ketru, I'm not going to be playing Friday because I am off to Boston. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to uh, visit a friend and we're going to PAX. So I will be at PAX um, on Friday. And then Saturday I will either be hungover or exploring Boston or some combination uh, of both, most likely. Um, I will be back Sunday, like, in my house, in Canada, um, I'll be back Sunday, so instead of doing Everspace, I might actually just play, uh, Pathway, the second, my second Pathway on Sunday. Um, it seems to be a popular thing for YouTube uploads, so to get them views, I may as well play a popular game. Uh, also... I've had a lot of kind of bonus streams with Everspace anyways, uh, just because I play it when I get a bonus stream. So I have like six videos of Pathway and I've already got like 10 of Everspace, so yeah. Uh, so I think the plan will be for me to play Pathway on Sunday. Assuming I'm in any state to do that, I might be really exhausted because my flight doesn't land until seven. So we'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, who knows? Oh, that's a good song. What is this? From Dungeon Mans. Um, yeah, I'm gonna like this song. I like this. I'm slowly building up a list from uh, Pretzel, which is the music thing I use, uh, of just songs from this that I actually like, so I can kind of eventually have a playlist of just tracks I, I dig. Um, oh, and you were lurking at the tail end of my uh, Everspace stream, uh, Ketru? Yeah, I actually, I didn't know what to expect going into Everspace, uh, but I'm really digging it. I really am. Um, especially now that, like, I've gotten a lot more confident in just, you know, combat and being a little better with, with being able to judge, like, when and when not to take the risks. Um, there's still obviously a grind to it, uh, because getting to the end requires you to just have a certain level of power, right? Like, you you can not fight anybody and get kind of far into the game to a point, but, uh, yeah, there's just some stuff you, you just gotta do. So, like, the grind is real in that game, but, uh, it's enjoyable. It's, it's, it doesn't feel like a grind, right? Like, I almost made it to the final sector, in my last run, and that was by uh, a bit of luck, a bit of accident, a little luck, and in my humble opinion, uh, an improvement in my overall combat ability. <laughs> um, sadly, I did trim like 10 minutes off of the uploaded video because I forgot to switch back. Oh, so it was just me complaining about the game being very mean to me while the BRB screen was up, which is unfortunate. But, uh, yeah. Anyways. Yes. So, no stream. Uh, no stream Friday. And, yeah, I'll be back hopefully Sunday. And we'll probably be playing Pathway then as well. So, um, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.